Hello everyone, before we start today's video, I would like to draw your attention to the NAFO 69th Sniffing Brigade, a fundraising organisation for Ukraine which purchases vehicles, generators, drones and more, and also supplies humanitarian aid to Ukraine. They've done some amazing work so far, delivering over 139 vehicles to Ukraine, and are definitely worth supporting. So in this video I thought I'd take a quick look at some satellite imagery. These images show two of Russia's Black Sea Fleet naval bases, Novo Rusisk and Sevastopol. These were shared by MT Anderson on Twitter, and are definitely worth a look so we can see which ships are where. So first of all, this image from March the 8th of Novo Rusisk naval base. First of all, you can see there's a pair of Rapua class landing craft. Russia has four of these in their Black Sea Fleet, two of which were damaged at Berdyansk but are since back in service. From satellite imagery, we can't put a name to these two here. Now, the Rapua class landing craft seem to flitter back and forth from Nova Rusisk to Sevastopol, carrying out transport duties. We will see that when we get to the final satellite image. In between the two Rapua landing craft are a pair of Project 22160 large patrol ships. Now, calling these patrol ships kind of undermines the role they play. These are fitted with caliber missiles and have been used to launch caliber missiles in the past at Ukraine. These are the same types of ship which Russia has been strapping Tor SAM systems to for protection. Four of these are in service in the Black Sea Fleet. As a side note, Russia did plan to order six more of these, but have since scrapped those plans because of the ship's poor performance, with flaws including poor seaworthiness, light armour and the lack of air defences though the shipbuilder has said that future ones can be armed with anti-air missiles. On the right hand side there are three Kilo submarines. These will be the improved Kilo, as the sole standard Kilo, the Alrosa, is known to be at Sevastopol. Of these, one Kilo is at a shipyard undergoing repairs at the moment. Finally, the Sparta 4, labelled as a weapons runner. M.T. Anderson says first, the Sparta 2 had been making regular trips to Novo Rusisk since August 2022, with a round trip taking three to four weeks, with Sparta 4 eventually taking her place. So let's check out where Novo Rusisk is. So it's located here, about 340 kilometers from the front lines. So it is within range of drones, though what damage a drone like a 2141 would cause to a ship, I don't know but I'm sure it would certainly damage one of the submarines lurking here. Ukraine did hit an oil depot further south a few weeks ago, so they do have the range to hit um, Novo Rusisk, and as shown by the strike on the oil depot, there are gaps in Russia's SAM defences here, so the base is quite vulnerable. Now let's check out the second image I have for you. This is of Sevastopol Harbour, the famous Black Sea Fleet port in Crimea, where, last year, Unmanned boats attack ships there. So this first image is of the northern sector of the base, the frigate and the ammunition pier. And there are a lot of ships here. First, a frigate, a Krivak class ship. These fall under the 30th Surface Ship Fleet Division, which consists of five guided missile frigates and one corvette, which is undergoing sea trials. The Black Sea Fleet has two Krivak class ships, the Ladne and Pietlivi. Next to it is an Amur class repair ship. Russia has 18 of these in total, two of which are attached to the Black Sea Fleet. These ships don't warrant names, they're just called PM56 and PM138. Next, a pair of Bora class hovercraft, which are guided missile corvettes designed for coastal defence against other surface vessels. Only two of these are in service, the Bora and the Samum. Next to the Bora class boats, we have one of the Admiral Grigorovich class frigates. The Black Sea Fleet has three of these, including the Admiral Makarov, which is the new flagship following the sinking of the Moskva. Next to it, we have a second Krivak class frigate. Now one of them, the Pietlivi, was reported to be in maintenance, and unless this is another Krivak shipped in from elsewhere, it doesn't appear to be in maintenance now, though maybe still not operational. It may be undergoing sea trials still and testing. Next to it is a Buyan M-Class or Project 21631 Corvette. 
There are four of these in the Black Sea Fleet. These are part of the 41st Missile Boat Brigade. One of these is reported to be in the Mediterranean at the moment. Finally here, looking like it's been loaded as there's a floating crane next to it, we have a second Admiral Grigorovich class frigate. This could be being loaded up with caliber missiles as this is one of the ships known to be using caliber missiles against Ukraine. So quite interesting. Four frigates are spotted here, leaving one Admiral Grigorovich class ship unaccounted for. It could be on patrol or carrying out a mission at the time the image was taken, or even docked elsewhere on the base. Also photographed is the ammunition pier, where ships are loaded and unloaded. Here there are two Rapua class landing craft. Now remember, there was a pair seen a few days ago at Nova Rasisk naval base on the image we looked at. So four are accounted for including those two. However, as we shall soon see, the two at Novo Rusisk have actually been moved to Sevastopol, showing that Russia is using these to ferry supplies back and forth. Also, we have another tall mounted Project 22160 again. Now there's a second image to look at here, showing the refueling pier, Pivdena Bay and the submarine pier. First, in the refueling piers, we have a third Rapua class ship, and then a Tarantul class. The Tarantul is a large corvette from the 80s. In Pivdena Bay, we have our final Rapua class ship, accounted for all four active in the Black Sea Fleet at the moment. As mentioned, these do ferry back and forth between Nova Rusisk and Sevastopol bases a lot. Likely ferrying supplies, probably um, to make up for the um, loss of the Crimean Bridge. Since Russia can't use that for supplies now, it seems that they are using these um, large landing craft more often. Next to Verapua is a Grisha class ship. There are six of these in the Black Sea Fleet, three as the 68th Coastal Defence Ship Brigade based in Sevastopol, and three as part of 184th Novo Rusisk Coastal Defence Brigade. These serve an anti submarine role. Finally, the submarine piers. There are some unidentified ships here, likely utility ships or some sort, and also one Kilo class submarine is seen. So, as seen here, Sevastopol lies around 290 kilometers from Odessa. So, this base has been hit before drones hitting buildings in and around Sevastopol, and of course, the famous unmanned boat attack. But it has been a while, so here's hoping a way can be found to give this base a good mallet in once more. Given the fact Russia uses the ships here to launch calibers, it has to be a very high priority target. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again and take care everybody.